In the last video, we successfully encrypted and decrypted passwords and got them from the database. Just showing you really quickly here. We'll uh, log in here. And we see that uh, I'm currently logged in. I'll go ahead and log out because we're going to do some work on the views. We see here that the only user we have is Kurt Clement with this encrypted password. Okay. So what we want to happen here is we're going to work with the views. This is going to be a beginning introduction to the views. Uh, it can go in much more depth. But I want when you come to this main page just to see the login. That's what I want you to be given the option to log in at that point. So let's look at uh, views a little bit. When you go to your page, the first thing that happens is we go to this site controller and we render the index view. Now, where does this render actually happen here? If I control and then click, and it's this one here, we can see that it takes us into this C controller PHP function. It says, if this before render view, now this is can be used, but really just returns true. It's empty, returns true. Another thing to look at is this parameter here which says uh, the default is false okay now we're gonna see that same parameter here although we're saying it's true so we're overriding the default and saying true and what that does is it say it does don't display it but put all of it into this variable here so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna render partial which means don't get the layouts don't get anything in main uh, and take that view that we passed into it, which was index data, there was no data. And because this is true, just put it into this output file. So don't put it out on the screen. And you can see that here, you know, if return is true, then, then just return the output, else echo the output, which means, of course, put it to the screen. Now, if there is a layout file, or if it's not false, then what we're going to do is we're also going to get the content from the out, um, layout file and we're also going to uh, get the content from the output that we just set here and put it into output. We're going to reuse that variable. So we're, we're first going to get the layout file and then we're going to get the output from that. Now if I go to the layout file, which is right here, you can see that the first thing it does is it says, well, the beginning content um, give us the layouts for main. So main right here, what it does here is it uh, sets up your normal header stuff and then it loads some CSS files which are for views and then it sets the page title. Now this main also does a few other things. It, it sets up uh, a menu and has these are menu items and sets up a breadcrumb what happens first? Main happens first and then the layout and then the partial view which means no uh, layout or main uh, goes on top of it. And if we look in our controller here, remember our site controller is an extension of uh, controller and controller just extends C controller. But this is where our layout is defined. It's just layouts is equal to the root layouts column one and there we go the view is column one that's the one that's getting AC so that's where that's that's defined it's not magic the layouts column one is defined here in the base controller the main is defined here in the column one and then here is where we're actually going to render this view this after render is if we we're going to run some scripts. This returns nothing. We don't check for any return, so it's actually an empty function. Then we're going to process all the output and put it into this, process all of that. And since the default is false and we didn't have parameter true, we're actually going to echo it. And that's where it gets onto the screen. That's diving into views a little bit and how uh, they get out there. Now we want to change the views. And the first thing is we're going to go to this index.php. Here we have the title right here. And then we have all of this code here. Now I'm going to delete all of this code. Simple HTML. Save it and reload. 
And you see here, this comes from, this footer here comes from main, and this comes from main. Okay. So now what do I want to do? Well, you would think that I'd want to render the uh, login. If we go to the site controller, just like rendering index here, I can render login. You see here, this render login. Now, let me show you why I don't want to do that. So if I copy the code that we see in the site controller here, you say render the login view from this model. And because this is the site controller, I actually need to pass it a model, which is a new login form. Now what happens if I actually do that? Well, I get this right here. And it, because it does the layouts and the, the main again, and that, of course, is not what I'm looking for. So we'll delete that. And we'll go with this here. Now we're saying redirect. So we're going to say uh, go to the login page. And let's see what happens when we do that. Now that's what I wanted right there, isn't it? Now when I log in, it does it successfully. Takes me back to index, site login, redirects me to here, and I'm just right here. But this isn't what I want to do. What I want to do is show the registered passwords. So what I want is I want to see this view right here. So after I've logged in, I want to see my password and say that, oh, at Bank of America, my username is Kurt Clement, and my password is my password. And I do have some other cleanup stuff to do here. But let's go ahead and log out. We're almost there, but we need to change the uh, what happens when we render login. Here is where we come when we've actually logged in. We get the post function, login form, and then it validates the login and then redirects us to whatever URL we came from. In our case, it was the index, so it just put us back there. But I don't want to go there. What I want to do is I want to go to, to the password view. So the first thing I need to do is create a correct URL. I could have the full length URL here with the question mark and the parameters, but because I use URL manager, I want to create the URL to comply with the settings in the URL manager. This double forward slash here says go to the root and just goes to passwords. If I didn't have that in there, if I just said go to passwords, what it would expect is that it would expect for site forward slash passwords. And just to show you that error right there, here we got an error, but you see up here in the URL, it was thinking we were going to site forward slash password, which doesn't exist. So we want the forward slash in there. If we do that and log in, it takes us to the password, showing us our passwords. Now, this was just a simple introduction to views. All we did was create the main page to redirect us to this page here, site login. When we log in, it takes us to the view of the passwords. And this is only partially getting this there, but I've started to play around with the views. What I may have to do is a lot of cleanup. I'm not sure I want to show all of this information. And I definitely want to only show the passwords for this user. You see, this user right here, if I go back to my file here, is user number 13. And yet I'm showing all of the passwords, and the only password I have here is from user number two, which doesn't even exist. We have some cleanup to do, but we just started an introduction into the views. And remember that your layout is set here in the base controller. That is where your layouts are is set. And in the layout, it defines your main, which is right here. And then when you do render something, it will go into the C controller class and execute all of these into a single output variable where it will finally get echoed to the screen in that order. One last review I think is important is to go back and see what we actually changed and it really wasn't much. Here in the site controller PHP underneath the login, action login, we really just commented out this one line which would have taken us back to where we came from and said redirect us to passwords. In the index.php, we deleted a lot of lines, 
and then we just said redirect us to login. So that's the only thing that we added was really three lines. And I'll go ahead and commit these. I've staged those. Now I'll make my commit. I'll look at my repository. And you can see here it has the files that were changed. And when they were changed. On to the next one.